quarantine, day two, Tuesday, March 17th. The heat's gone out in the house. Nobody will come fix it because they don't want to brave the outside world. So here I am trying to start a fire. Whew, my hands are tired. I just tried for 45 minutes. Time to call in the big guns. She had to call in the big guns, the ladies of the house. It took him nine times longer than it took me to start the fire. How much time did we spend making the fire all together? Mm -hmm. As you know, here at Quarantine Math, we love our sides check word problem strategy. If you don't know what that is, you can go ahead and listen to the song up here. That will explain it to you but our S is for statement, right? So we're gonna take the question, we're gonna restate it, leaving a blank for where our number answer is going to go. So we spent blank time making the fire, and this is the keyword right here, all together, okay? So that's our statement that's gonna guide our thinking. When we go back and listen to the word problem, we're looking for anything about time. Um, and anything about the fire, okay? And so our next step would be to identify, but in quarantine times, it's hard to identify when all the toilet paper and paper is gone. And so we're just gonna write down on our screen what they said that, or what we said that was important, right? So it took the bearded guy 45 minutes to attempt to make a fire. And then his lovely wife came in with his daughter and they made the fire, um, and sorry, in that, the 45 minutes, was nine times longer than it took the ladies, right? And that's gonna be important. And then the other keyword we'd identify at the end is all together, okay? So these are our three things that are really gonna help us um, figure out what to do as we develop our plan. And here at Instruct the Beats, we love to do tape diagrams. Now, when I see that it's comparing using multiplication, so nine times longer than, I'm going to be using a multiplicative tape diagram. Your parents, your teachers, or you adults who are watching because you want to be challenged, right? If you had a different strategy, as long as you're visually showing work, that's great. As soon as you just start doing things in your head, that's bad, okay? That is how you do not survive the quarantine math challenges. And so here, I know there's two people, right? Um, so there's the beard guy. Some would call him the James Harden of math. I mean, I could, I could see it. I don't know. Um, I mean, some people say that. Okay. Uh, and then we had the lovely ladies. Okay. The LLs. And I know the bearded man took nine times longer than the ladies, right? So that means they both did it in the same amount of time, except the bearded man was nine times longer. Okay. So we want nine equal groups longer than it took the lovely ladies. Okay, so I'm gonna draw them all out. Uh, hopefully if I have room, so that should be five if I can count. And again, these are equal groups, right? Because this is nine times longer than the lovely ladies. So I wanna make it equal to whatever this group was. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and it's not gonna be perfectly equal because it's quarantine times and nothing's ever perfect. You're kind of making it up as we go, right? And so this should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times longer. My uh, bar model should be nine times longer than the lovely ladies. And I know that it took the bearded man 45 minutes. So it's not 45 minutes in each of them. It, it took him 45 minutes to try, okay? And then I have this split into nine equal groups, okay? So if I have 45 split into nine equal groups, 45 divided by Nine is five, so each of these boxes is going to be representing five minutes. And I know that if one of these is five minutes, then this is also another group. So the lovely ladies did it, they started the fire in five minutes, okay? So that's how we can use our bar model. If you've never done that before, please check out our YouTube videos or check out something on YouTube. This is an awesome visual strategy. And then that doesn't answer my question because I wanted to know all together. So let me do some magic real quick and move that over because I didn't want to know the bearded guy. I didn't want to know the lovely lady, uh, ladies. I want to know 
how much did it take them all together, okay? So I know that the bearded man was 45. I now know because that was nine times longer than the lovely ladies that they were five minutes. So when I add that together, it took them a total of, we spent blank time. That doesn't make sense. Blank minutes. How about that? We'll erase that. Yeah, give me a give me a mulligan, right? We spent 50 minutes making the fire all together. Hopefully that was a little bit of a challenge for you. Hopefully not too much. As always, thank you so much for checking us out today. Please check us out for day three. We're going to be exploring the wonderful world of toilet paper. You do not want to miss it. Please subscribe, like the video. We would love to have you be a subscriber of Instruct the Beats. As always, wash your hands. Don't touch your face and stay inside, especially if you're feeling like you might be sick. Stay safe. Do math. I'm out.